Greetings, fellow portal masters. Masters, I am Crash Riles, and it's once again time to Crash Scouts with another episode of the Scout and the Trap Team Corelock here on the channel. Thank you so much for coming and watching another episode of this series. If you don't know what this is all about, everything you need to know is in the description below, and you got five episodes to catch up on. As you can see, though, if you know about my locks, so far, so good. Every single Skylar is still alive. The blackout rule did go into effect to save Food Fight back in episode <coughs> excuse me, three, so you can go back and watch that one for sure didn't happen last week though chef pepper jack he just he just got obliterated and that's all that matters because we are heading into episode six here now the rain fish riviera the next few levels i'm not worried about i think these are going to be easy breezies however i forgot about brawl and chain so hopefully i get a range attacker when i get to fight him if not i'm gonna cry brawl and chain's pretty hard to fight so That's literally him. Uh, yeet. <laughs> oh, that takes me back. <laughs> okay, we just need to find that information to put it yours, deal with the pirates, not get eaten by the rainfish, and find somewhere to land in this storm. That doesn't seem too hard. Then, how about I show you around these parts? Blades is like, okay. Alright, let's see, do we have to switch right away? Maybe. I know I gotta fight Brawl where it's like literally right out of the gate if I'm not mistaken, so. Skylanders of the Earth, element. Earth Element! We got a debut, baby! Finally, six episodes in. Fist Bump is making his debut. Too late. I love his Fist Bump. Absolutely fantastic Earth Skylander. My little panda king over here. 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 Woohoo! Probably not. Watch this. Hello, everybody. Right, so I was gonna say, I'm like, how do I do the jump, the slam down? Here we go. I wonder if I can glitch it like I did with a, my Bash Solo Run live stream. One of my, my very old subscribers might know that one. I did not glitch it, ladies and gentlemen. I did not. My favorite thing is about the, is that they keep like dodging around it somehow. Like, look at this starfish. They shoot me like head on. It's, it's stupid. Remember, I'm doing strategy for all these guys. I'm trying to actually, you know, not come down with a case of the dead. Okay, four each time, which is not too bad. It's enough for me to get a couple good hits on them. Can't really get close to them is the issue. So I got to kind of range attack them here. What the? Oh, the stupid starfish slow me down. Yep. Two, three, four. Slam, blam, 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 blam. Oh, I got hit by one. Got him, baby! I forgot the starfish when they land on you, slow you down. I was like, why am I getting hit so easily? But I got one starfish on me, and the starfish is like, Hello, TOTS charged. Thank, thank, thank you, Megs. Is this Megs debut? Or did Megs was Megs in Swap Force? I don't remember if Megs was in Swap Force. Was Megs in Swap Force? That one person in the comments like, oh, great, you better bit of like, I don't remember. The only one I know that the debuts is like Hugo, Callie, and Flynn all came out during the first game. We got your everyone's favorite NPC in uh, Swap Force. Megs, I think, is trap team along with Buzz. She got rocks all over her feet. I forgot me just walking makes me lose things. Oh, I need the key. I know, I know, I forgot. Man, the boy hasn't played trap team in a, such a long time. He doesn't remember how to do anything anymore. But I also don't play these levels when I'm playing trap team because I, I don't, I don't, I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't like these levels. Your boy don't like these levels. So it's a big difference. Like when I'm playing Trap Team on my own, I don't go and play Rainfish Riviera. Who does that? Who would be like, hey, Rain my favorite level in Trap Team is Rainfish Riviera. 
And we got our final debut! Funny Bone! Everybody, everyone's here. Smash Bros, baby. Funny Bone is here. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for me to kill Funny Bone because I am not good with Funny Bone. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what. <laughs> Hello. Let's do the mandatory Sky Stones battle. This one, there's another one later too, so. How diggity dog dare you. Alright, ba ba da ba da ba da ba da. Round one. Let's go. Buzzer beak. Buzzer beak. Don't mind if I kill you. Shrednot. Shrednot, hey? Boy, that's gonna suck when you become a literal sheep. Easy. Sheep creep. Sheep creep. Nope. Smoke scream. Easy win. We defeated old Bucko over here. Dog. Top dog. Good job, Funny Bone. Grab it. Here we go. Look at him go. Look at him go. Mm -hmm. Wait. I don't need to fight you guys. 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 <laughs> Bye. See you never. You're still throwing bombs at me though. <laughs> hey Megs. Sorry about all that. I don't. If I don't need to fight him, I ain't going to fight him. Okay. Yeah, I guess so. Is he gonna open or? Villains, alright, we're staying with your boy, I guess. <laughs> Hello, your boy is here. Oh. Ooh, 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 I'm just standing there getting hit like an idiot. Oh, <gasps> how dare you! Oh, I just remembered. Funny Bone can heal. Yeah, so when I put down one of these, these things, and I stamp or not, I can stand beside it and heal up. So see now. You watch, I stand beside it, heal up. So, plus they work as actual, like, enemy, as weapons, too, so. It's an easy way for me to re-heal after every battle. I just gotta hang out, you know? Look at my health right now. I can just go and just grab a thing afterwards. And then there we go, I'm full again. Yeah, see, watch. Yeah, I know, I know. Watch this, though. I do myself a little digger hole here. Can we do one at a time? There we go. There we go. Yeah! Easy heal. Look at that. Fully healed. I gotta I gotta remember that. That's gotta that's gotta be a tactic for uh funny bone here. For some reason he likes to just not dig after a while though. Like I'll do it and then he has to stand there like Okay now I'll dig. Alright, funny bone. Fully healed going into every single battle, basically. I just gotta remember to stop and heal each time. That's my biggest thing, is I gotta remember to do that. I know what I gotta do. Come on. Don't drop me in the water. Whatever you do, don't drop me in the water. Let everyone say it. I was waiting for one of them to say it. Watch, I get it. I need to take a walk. After this, after this level, I guess I'll get up and take a walk. I was waiting for whatever you do. Don't drop me in the water. Oof. I almost killed you there, Mags. I'll be honest. Kablam? 
Oof. I like how she legitimately got hurt when you did that. I don't know if you guys noticed that. She actually got hurt when she lands. She turns red. Clam Tower. Excuse me. For some reason, you don't have to go in there. Oh, excuse me. Oh, we got a brawless fight happening soon. Or brawl and chain, sorry. Guys, I don't know if you noticed, but I, uh, I missed the bomb. I got, so I gotta go all the way back. Because I missed the bomb like an actual buff buffoonery over here. Kablam! Alright, bum 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 bum. Shing. Bang, alright. Water element, Echo? Echo has to take on Brawl and Chain. The bubbles. Wait, what's her what's her third move again? Is that a shock? She does a shockwave or something, don't she? Yeah, on the uh, yeah. So Sonar Strike's okay, but the bubbles are gonna help me just because if he's following me, for example, I can just plant a couple of these around. If he's kind of far away, I can do this. Sketchy though. Sketchy. There's some funky music in the background because of it. Gotcha. He's a pirate, though. You think he should be enabled to know how to swim? None of them's gonna say, whatever you do, don't drop me in the water? That's me favorite. Whatever you do, don't drop me in the water! Look at him, look at him. He's actually legitimately scared. I mean, I'd be too, but I'm standing there and a giant claw came and grabbed me. I think I'd be scared, too. Come here, I'm gonna drop this right on this guy's face. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kill this one instead. The other ones, they just land in the water, so they just gotta swim. Okay, I gotta remember... The bubbles are my friends. There should be food in there. Yep, okay. Okay, alright, here we go. Come on, bombshell. Okay, we're right out of the gate, knocking those guys over and dead. Crud! Oh, you did- You didn't die- Oh, I should've saved that food. I didn't realize you dropped the food, though. Okay, here we go. What the? Can I hit that? Oh, I can. Okay. I was so confused. I'm like, what do what do I do with that? All right, couldn't couldn't hit that for some apparent reason, but all right. I get hit with the bubble. All right. Whatever. I'll hit it with the bubble. Here we go. Brawl and chain time, baby. This is what I'll do. I will just spam bubble move over and over again. I don't care. Oh gosh. Oh, come on. You got him to feed a good, good. Oh, lots of bubbles. <laughs> oh! We're gonna go get that health. We're gonna go get that health. I'm gonna throw some bubbles down. I'm gonna go get that health. Yeah! <laughs> the strategy of running away and being scared works every time.
I'm literally playing, at this moment of me recording this, I'm playing Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Rich, which is a JRPG from years ago, but I'm, re I'm doing the remaster from PS4 on my PS5. <laughs> Fancy. Um, but my tactic is I run away every time. Like, when I get into a battle, I just get, I run, I run, I get out of the way. I run and get out of the way. And it works every single time. It really does. I just run it. I just get out of the way. That's all you do. Just just move. Because, like, the common thing about that game is you can defend and all this stuff. But, like, why would you do that when you just run? Just run around. You don't have to worry about, like, wasting time. You don't have to worry about your thing having to refill. You don't have to press circle to get out of it. You just just run away. Just just run away. The answer to everything. The, your, the answer to life's problems is run away. Look at that! Run away! Every time. Oh, no, I gotta grab that. Hold on, I gotta quickly reply to this. Okay. It's four minutes. Yeah, that's, that's enough time for me to beat this. You think I can beat the rest of this level in four minutes? Because I can. All I gotta do is just get to the top now and jump to the grab the rainfish. Do ba do ba do, boo do 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 do. There we go. This would be great if I was Bash. So I would run up that hill real quick, you know. Okay, so we grab, grab some of the grub. <laughs> grab this fish with a little bit of bait. There we go. Come on over, come on over, fishy. Come on over, come on over, fishy. Oh! Butter toast with cinnamon on Yo, cinnamon sugar toast? My, for some reason, I thought I couldn't jump. Sure is good to have my information, sweetback. Sure is, and that's gonna do it. It was less than four minutes, actually. Hey, there we go. We didn't. We still got 100% this level in the future. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for this episode. Also, a very simple episode. Um, learning the whole runaway technique works great when you're doing a lock. Just avoid all conflict. Run away. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of the trap team core lock here on the channel i'll be back next week for another awesome episode of this series monster marsh is next so if you want to skip next week i fully understand but i5 might kill me <laughs> for real thank you all so much for watching i'll see you next week for another awesome episode y'all mean the world me don't ever forget it but as always i bid you farewell